What's up guys? Welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. Scrap or Mechaniku. Today we're going to be playing with my new favorite thing to play with in Scrap Mechanic. It's soft body physics. Now if you didn't know that this was a thing in Scrap Mechanic, then where have you been? But you can check out this video on my channel where I show off this car that's made out of jello. It's super cool, and that's the first time that I've ever seen soft body physics in Scrap Mechanic. So the basic concept is that you can obviously put bearings in between everything that you're building in the thing that you're building. And if you're playing on the highest physics setting, those bearings are going to be very firm and they're going to behave very accurately, letting you spin the thing that you built. But if you turn that physics setting all the way down, the bearings are going to be floppy and weaker, they have a little bit more give to them. So the concept is, if you create an entire sheet of this stuff, individual blocks each separated by bearings, and then you play with it on physics setting one, it's gonna act like a cloth, like a soft body simulation, where each of the individual points are gonna have some give to them relative to the point next to them. Woo, look at this, I'm a cool surfer dude, riding the wave, riding the wave. Speaking of waves, let's go ahead and attach this thing to some pistons. There you go, make this piston go crazy. All right, I sure hope this works. The game lags so much, my computer doesn't crash in three, two, one, go. Hey, that was pretty good. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, all right, so I definitely didn't build it tall enough. All right, those waves are not really traversing. Good, 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 good. We'll just cut it off. All right, so this is experiment number one. So today we're going to be taking this concept to the extreme, to the max. We're going to be playing with all different kinds of materials, and we're just going to explore to see what there is to even do with soft body physics in Scrap Mechanic. Let's, uh, let's get started with this thing that you saw on a live stream. This is a sheet of ice. Flexible ice just slides down the hill, kind of like a magic carpet ride. So one of the first things that people suggested was, put a thruster on it, and that's when my game crashed. So let's go ahead and start with that. So I don't know if you guys remember this thing. This is actually a camera controlled ice sled. This is all a solid chunk. There's no, uh, there's no bearings in between anything here. All a solid plate of ice. But the concept is you sit in this secret seat down here and the thruster will point wherever your camera's pointing. So it's super cool. You just sit in the seat and you go in the direction. You slide around the entire world wherever you're looking. <laughs> so this is my camera controlled ice sled and I thought let's convert this to soft body and see how it does. Here we go, a camera controlled ice cloth. This is probably one of the most fun things that I've ever built in Scrap Mechanic. Check this out. Camera control, you just look in the direction you want to go and you slide on your magic carpet ride. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh, it does definitely lag your game quite a bit, oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. I don't want to go down. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Over the rock. Camera control vehicle beats you. Because the thruster still pushes me. <laughs> Look at this. You can climb. You can slide up anything. Come on, come on, come on. I got to find the, the point of balance. There you go. No, 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 no. There you go, there you go. Balanced on the rock. Sort of. And look at that, it just slips right on down. So much fun. So imagine if the game even allowed you to race a couple of these with your friends. Oh boy. <laughs> it is so much fun. I mean, camera control ice vehicles are fun anyway, but like this makes it even more fun. Boo! Like randomly hitting a rock and then turning into a Pringle. Let me tell you, that's life. That's life right there. You hit a rock and you turn into a Pringle. Ah! No! <laughs> no! Well, okay, never mind. It's not that big of a deal if you're stuck in a tree. I forgot all the bearings are floppy, you could just thrust right out of it. So let me tell you, the camera control ice sled, definitely one of the better ideas, uh-oh. Until you just get stuck upside down. Okay, so for our next test, we're going to be doing something not too, too different from the concrete jello car that you saw there. These are all just plastic blocks. It's a giant sheet of just plastic blocks. Uh, you can find this on the workshop. This is under Flex Sheet Big by Rango. Uh, but I definitely uh, recommend maybe spawning in one of the smaller ones first because uh, the big one definitely hits your computer pretty hard. But let's go ahead and hit this computer even harder 
uh, because up there you might be able to see those are the rope mod, uh, the, the rope part. So the idea here is that I wanted to grab each individual corner of this uh, sheet with ropes and then sort of like pull it up to see what happens with this. Can we create a hammock, a bowl? What kind of a shape is it gonna make? Hopefully it doesn't uh, lag my game too much or just utterly destroy it because I have other tests to do in this world. But let's go ahead and try to attach the ropes and see what happens. Here we go. Oh my gosh, here we go. Brip. Okay, the rope's attached. Not exactly in the corners, but let's uh, start pulling and see what happens. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrified of ruining my game right now. Please. Oh my gosh, please be a little bit forgiving, Scrap Mechanic. You're on Physics Setting 1. Just, 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 please. For me. For this. Hurt! Oh no! 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 I just, oh, I just pulled it up a little bit. God, it was just a tiny bit, and then all of a sudden I created this fourth dimensional object here. Like, my gosh. It's completely twisted in on itself. Is it gonna magically unfold? <laughs> it looks like it's trying to. It's actually like through itself. Oh my god, that end is so twisted. How many times did it go through itself? All right, well, that's a little bit unfortunate that I can't do this with ropes. I might have to give it a try with uh, with something different like pistons. I can't put this thing on my lift. I actually have to delete this block by block or else my game dies. Just, just go ahead, just go ahead and cut it in half. Cut it in half, it's okay. Just cut it in half. We're not in the fourth dimension anymore, just cut it in half. It's still not unfolded, like what? Believe it or not, this is actually a lot faster than it would take to put this on my lift. Okay, maybe this is gonna be forgiving, because it's smaller. That was about seven seconds. Seven seconds of hang time, just for that small piece. That was also seven seconds. Seven seconds of hang time. I wonder if it's just always seven, no matter what. And this is... <laughs> this is what's left. Alright, let's give it a try. Yep. Alright, so that was a full 30 seconds of hang time. It's not even that much bigger, but it's like exponentially greater. Uh, like, just because it doubled in size, all of a sudden it's like four times as long of the hang time? Okay, I do have one idea. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We're gonna spawn in another one. Flex sheet big. It does take a little bit to spawn in, but spawning it in doesn't take nearly as long as trying to put it on your lift. It's a little bit strange like that. But let's go ahead and put, we're gonna do bearing on the outside, bearing on the outside, bearing on the outside, bearing on the outside. It's all gonna be fair. So instead of having uh, all of the ropes in the center of my hammock, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna build these heavy blocks on the outside, and then I'm going to put there you go, just like that. So all of these corners are technically gonna be connected. Now I pull out the weld tool and connect these guys together. Again, you gotta consider this is all being done on my lift, so it's not lagging my computer like crazy. Then when we drop the lift, this thing is all gonna be attached together, but then this is all gonna be cloth. So let's see how the cloth simulation works. Taking this off my lift, oh my gosh. Hopefully it doesn't like my game too much. Here we go, three, two, one. Brr. Oh! <laughs> this is so much better than the rope. Oh my goodness, this is so much better than the rope. I did it, I created a bowl. A bowl slash hammock. Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I can't do a darn thing about this. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and put my lift back down, I guess. Do do a little bit of, yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. What the heck kind of shape did I just create? It's the highest in the center, sags down, and then goes back up to the corners. I didn't realize plastic was so heavy. But man, does it lag your game. This is gonna take forever to put on my lift too, so I don't think I can pick this up, unfortunately. And part of me also wishes that I made this out of ice, because if I put something in the center, oh, then it's gonna, <gasps> you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some space-time simulation. 
All right, we just put a super heavy block up there. Let's see what happens. Okay, it just goes right on through. So that's like black hole status. Let's uh, put another block. This is just regular. There you go, there you go. Doesn't do a whole lot of anything. Okay, so a bowling ball is pretty heavy. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's see what happens. That settled down pretty quick, actually. All right, so I think the hammock test was a success. This is exactly what I was looking for. This is exactly what I was hoping for. There's just not a whole lot that you can do with it. I mean, it's fun to play around with. Uh, probably the most fun. <laughs> probably the most fun thing is just to push your lift up in it. But then what? Then what? It's There's really no practical application for what I created right here. Other than just going, ba wow wow. Let's go ahead and try to save this on my lift and hopefully uh, don't kill my computer, don't kill the recording. Here we go. Three, two, one, bear. All right, so we're back into the game. Um, could not put this on my lift. It definitely just crashes your game if you try to put this on your lift. So how am I gonna get rid of it? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually really curious now what's gonna happen. Here we go. Don't crash. Hey, it did not crash my game. Very cool. That's probably the fastest way to clean this stuff up is just blow it all up uh, because you can't put it on your lift. You just cannot, just cannot put it on your lift. There it is. It's all gone. All gone. Beautiful. Okay, so for the next test, I'm gonna be taking Flex Sheet Small by Rango. Uh, definitely something that's a lot easier to spawn in, and it should be no problem to put on my lift. It took about 11 seconds to put this on my lift, so it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and we're gonna save a modified version of this, Durf Flex Sheet, in my blueprints. And then next, we're gonna save something else here. Check it out, check it out. This is starting with just two plastic blocks, but then we're gonna include one of each type of block that I wanna test. Uh, you're gonna see why in a second. So we're gonna be testing super heavy, we're gonna be testing ridiculously heavy, we're gonna be testing the super lightweight blocks, uh, we're gonna be testing flubber blocks, the blocks that are bouncy against the terrain. Check it out, check it out. See that? They bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. So we're gonna see what that does. And we're also gonna be testing the flubber blocks with no friction. This is a lot like a bouncy version of ice because it doesn't have the friction to actually roll along the ground. It just sort of bounces more in place even though it's spinning like crazy. So this blueprint is gonna give me the information to take this blueprint and replace all of the plastic blocks with all heavy blocks and then I spawn it in or all ridiculously heavy, then I spawn it in or the lightweight, then I spawn it in. So let's go ahead and do this block tester thing. I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but I saved it. So now I'm going to go into my blueprints folder, do some bippity boopity modifications, and we're going to spawn in a super heavy sheet, flexible sheet to see what happens. No, 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 no. I forgot that you bounce. Don't, 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 don't do that. You're heavy and bouncing. Stop it. All right. <laughs> That's how I solved that problem. Okay, so I have modified the blueprint. This should be Durf Flex Sheet. There you go. We have a different kind of block there. This is super heavy blocks. These are way heavier than any metal blocks. Let's go ahead and take this off the lift and see what kind of effect that we can get. It doesn't seem... It doesn't seem all that different now that I'm, like, looking at it. I'm not sure if it has more bend to it or not. So let's just sort of, uh, key, you know, take a little uh, mental note of how this is performing. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty fine. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Same thing, but with plastic blocks. You can see it's a little bit more reactive to my lift, like my lift going up. It's definitely more lightweight, but it doesn't actually bend much more than the other one. Why are there like groups of two that are bending? See, there's two there, two there two there, they're like bending in pairs, except for this one, this one's solo, and then there's another two here, another solo, and then a, a threesome. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of these then, I guess, or we'll leave the heavy one there just in case I, no, 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 we can just get rid of it. It's easier to spawn it in than to pick it up with your lift. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. That's something that I didn't really realize you could do. That might be another use for this stuff. 
probably the worst idea to do this with the with the heavy stuff, but check it out, check it out. No, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't work at all with the heavy stuff. All right, the next test that we're doing, let's try ridiculously heavy. Now, ridiculously heavy, if you didn't know, was in the mod pack beta because it's ridiculously heavy for a reason. You can't build too much of this stuff or else you're not going to be able to even stay on the ground. This stuff literally goes through the ground because it's so gosh darn heavy, it's ridiculous. See that? It's sinking into the ground, and eventually, if you use too much of the stuff, it's just gonna go in. All right, here we go. The ridiculously heavy flex sheet. Let's uh, lift it up, put our lift back down, and see if we get, oh, <laughs> it slammed down quite a bit. But let's see if we can get a different behavior than before. Look at that, look at that, it's coming, it's flexing in pairs again. What is this strange phenomena? Anyway, let's uh, do a little bit of testing here, see. Oh ho ho. Oh ho. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Weird, weird, it chose a couple of corners, and now it's just alternating the corner. Okay, so that is something, that is something that the other flex sheets don't do. It seems that the weight of the block definitely does have an effect on what happens with a flex sheet. I'm not sure why you would want a ridiculously heavy flex sheet, but if you look at that, alternating corners like that. Weird, 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 weird. Oh, <laughs> okay, all right. That's weird, but pretty cool. All right, let's get rid of it now. Wait a second, this stuff is indestructible? I didn't know that. Ah! You definitely need a macro right clicker <laughs> to get all of this. All right, so up next in the test, we have the super lightweight block. This block is modified just like the heavyweight stuff, but in the opposite direction. As a matter of fact, it's too lightweight. You actually need weight on your bearings and suspensions for them to actually function properly. There's like a certain range of acceptable weight and lightweight blocks is outside of that range. It's way too lightweight. You need thousands and thousands and thousands of these blocks to equal just one normal block. So let's go ahead and see the effects of a super lightweight block with the flex sheet. Let's go. All right, here we go. Super lightweight blocks. Let's do the lift testing and see if there's anything different, any behavior that's different. And immediately we can see this thing doesn't sag quite as much as the ridiculously heavy to touch the ground on all surfaces around it. But it is also sagging in pairs, just like the other stuff. Weird, weird how that happens. So let's see what happens here. And immediately this lightweight stuff is sliding off here. But I gotta say, it doesn't actually seem all that different it doesn't seem different from the other stuff that we saw earlier. So it seems like the weight of the block has barely an effect on how much this stuff actually sags. There you go, there you go, I got the two corner bend. Got the two corner bend with the lightweight, and then it switched to the other corners. Weird, weird. So it seems like the effects of soft body physics is pretty universal in scrap mechanic. The weight of the stuff doesn't matter a whole lot, although it does change how your sheet is gonna behave in a general sense. So if you build it out of ridiculously heavy blocks, the entire sheet is ridiculously heavy. But how much the sheet bends doesn't really change from a super lightweight sheet. The entire sheet is super lightweight, but they're both soft body physics and they're both bending the same amount. That's very weird to see. I really thought that the heavier blocks would have an effect on that. Oh, but you know what? Something else that we can test out with this. Hold on, this is probably a much better test to do it on. There you go, you put on some wood, wood blocks, now you can hammer it. <laughs> okay, that was way lighter than I thought it was. I forgot just how lightweight these blocks are. My goodness, let's, uh, <laughs> let's fix that. So yeah, depending on the material that you choose then, you have some different options with what you can actually do with your sheet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, a sprungy corner thing. Whoa! <laughs> Let's uh, put a super heavy on top of this. Wow, wow! <laughs> it's already making the entire sheet do a boogie. What the heck, why? Guys, I discovered a new method of propulsion. 
this jiggle is sliding the entire thing away. All right, let's just hammer it, get out of here. See what happens. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot just how much heavier these blocks are. My gosh, this single block is heavier than all of these super lightweight blocks. I forgot about that. I forgot just how heavy it is. Get up there, get up there. Go, 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 go. Let me in, let me in. What the heck, dude? Oh, almost had it. There you go, there's my entrance. Yeah, this stuff is very lightweight. So there's definitely some cool stuff that you can do with a different weighted sheet, but it doesn't seem like the soft body physics are gonna behave too much differently. It's weird to say that you're just changing the sheet's weight, but you're not changing the soft body physics in between each point in that sheet. This is so weird and fun to play with. Anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of it because we got another block to test. It's flubber block coming up. <laughs> uh, the doom jellyfish is gonna explode. All right, up next we have a flexible sheet of flubber uh, you know, I don't think it actually bounces off the lift, so this might be a little bit of a more interesting test here. So it does seem to settle down just fine. It's touching the ground on all sides. All right, let's go ahead and play around with it on the left, see if it's, uh, see if it's the same. Oh, oh ho ho, already got the double corner thing, and already alternating the double corner thing. Interesting. I gotta say, this is probably just a lot more like a regular flexible sheet. So let's uh, get rid of my lift. There you go. And watch the flubber bounce away. Nah, it just settles down. That's kind of weird. All right, I gotta pick it up with my lift again. Actually, I don't. I don't gotta pick it up with my lift. We can just destroy it. It's indestructible? Why did I make it indestructible? <laughs> All right, let's pick it up with my lift. From the full height of the lift, just to see the bouncy physics. Let's go. Bounce away, flexible sheet. And then it settles down pretty quick. All right, nothing too special about that. All right, up next we have the zero friction, but more bouncy flubber block, the pink flubber. Let's go ahead and test that one out. All right, here we go. The super bouncy, but no friction. <laughs> Let's try to do our best to do a regular lift test here. This is a type of flubber that I don't think is ever gonna be able to settle down. It, ha it does have low friction, so it's gonna slide right off the lift. Yep, 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 slides right off the lift. Well, let's, <laughs> let's ride our magic carpet. <laughs> yeah, honestly, this is looking pretty cool. Whoa there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa there! That corner is getting worse! Oh! It flipped over! It flipped over by itself! Oh man, this is just interesting to just watch! Is that corner gonna do it again? Oh! <laughs> Looks like the other corner cancelled it out a little bit. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 almost, almost. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the opportunity to walk under this. There we go. What? What the heck, dude? You're cheating at this point. Come on, come on, just let me under. Hmm, not sure what I can do with this. It's a little bit heavy for a sheet, so I can't just sort of like hammer it around. Putting thrusters on this would also be a little bit crazy. Like what, <laughs> what is the practical application of any of these? And it just never settles down, never ever. Oh, oh, are you gonna fold, are you gonna fold? Yes, oh, I could have sworn it was gonna fold. Here we go, here we go, here we go, yeah. I mean flip. All right, all right, well let's do, and we're gonna do a drop test where we just drop it, here we go. Boing, the entire sheet bounces and then settles down into this chaotic state, where it's just wiggling on the ground forever. 
I don't even know what this, like, what is this? <laughs> uh, some of the modded blocks that I've made over the years. Oh boy. So there's actually another block that I want to test this with, a flexible sheet, but it's not actually a block. It is a sphere. One of the things that I'm thinking about with these flexible sheets is that the corners of the blocks are hitting each other and it's somehow limiting the flexibility of the sheet itself. So if we create a sheet that is spherical, all the points are spherical, they should have enough give to them to roll all the way around each other. It might be a more flexible sheet of stuff. I don't know, let's see. All right, here we go. This is a full on sheet that I created. Uh, nothing but balls and bearings in between. And there you go, it flexes just like the other sheets. It doesn't seem to be behaving too much differently from the other stuff. I don't actually remember what the weight is for the billiard balls in the mod pack beta, but it is behaving a lot like a heavy sheet. Nothing too special about it. I gotta say, it doesn't seem to be having any kind of effect, any noticeable effect that's different than just building it out of blocks. And it might be a lot easier to build it out of blocks anyway, so... Spherical collision per individual point of soft body physics does not matter. Now I do have one more test to do this video, just one more. I've been doing a lot of playing around with the soft body stuff, but it's a lot of fun. So what I want to test is to see if it's possible to make a pizza pie. I want to see... I built this thing right here, uh, just to do this. Herp a derp a derdle, herp a derp a derdle, derp. Not really centered, but that's okay. We're gonna take the big sheet. Okay. There we go. There we go. We just remove all this stuff out of the way now. All right. Gotta love the floating lift trick. There you go. I wanna watch it from up here. Let's see if my. <laughs> Let's see if my pizza pie thing can actually work. I I'm gonna drop it when the thing is up, when the fingers are up in the air. Okay, three, two, one, now. It didn't matter, it didn't matter what my fingers were doing. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, that's physics one for you. Your pistons are not gonna work. <laughs> it's just getting worse. Where are you going? Where are you going? The Italian hand is getting aggressive. <laughs> that actually sounds like some uh, political jargon that you'd see in like some fake news website or something. Like, oh my gosh, the Italian hand is getting aggressive. Ha! <sighs> alright, alright. Just blow it all up. Blow it all up. All of it's gonna be blown up. Where's the nuke? I'll give you the power of the Italian hand. You are in control of the nuke as soon as, as, soon as I can put it on you. There you go, swing to me and I'll, I'll click like crazy on you. Come on, this this side. There you go, there you go, there you go. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to put a nuke on it. <laughs> there we go, I got it, I got it. Where is the nuke? I have no idea. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's probably gonna detonate now. What the heck? All right, the nuke did good. The nuke did good, the lift did good too. So really there's no practical applications for any of this. I think the most practical thing that we saw was right in the beginning of the video when we had that camera controlled ice sheet, that ice cloth that you can just slide around the entire world. That is a lot of fun, but doing it with a flexible ice sheet, that's the thing that lets you slither upwards because then your thruster is also pointing upwards as well. So this thing definitely lets you, you know what? We could probably scale a rock wall with this. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and do that. Come on now, come on now, you can do it. You can do it, thruster. All right, all right, thruster. You gave up halfway, that's fine. So this was a lot of fun, and if you guys have any other suggestions for fun experiments that we can do with soft body physics and scrap mechanic, do let me know down in the comments below. If you like this, hit the like button, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, faster thruster. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a little bit too much acceleration for the, oh, I mean, we can go up now, I think.
I, I, oh no, we're going fourth dimensional. Uh, I mean, we still slide around. Oh, I have no idea where the thruster's pointing, though. It should be, it should be where my camera's pointing, right? There we go. Get on top, get on top. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get on top, 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 top. <sighs> we just flew away. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, for real this time, that's all that I had to show you guys for today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go to the